Hey guys, it's Al. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Scarlet. Uh, yeah, Pokemon Scarlet. I was going to say in Violet. So, last time we went around searching mostly the entire city. And the only thing left to do is to go up. <laughs> and yeah, uh, they in the last game they let you spin and do the signature pose of the champion of that region. region in this game. And in this game, I guess they just tie you out. Uh, Sagu's home ec is really useful. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Rice, sister class is so much fun. Your phone can reveal your past life. Hello? How many lives you have? Sure. I see a life you lived. You once lived in. Oh, where's that? Hey, sweet. How would she know that? Oh! So she can tell you all of the regions your game has been on. Okay. How do I... How do I change my character again? Is it why? No, why is the map? Is it up? No, down? Oh, well, up you can emote. The power pose! <laughs> hey, yo! Powerful. There we go. Oh, okay. So she can. Oh, since I have every game, every Pokemon game on the Switch, I can actually do the rest of them. Okay. Oh, I see you digging beneath the surface of Dino. Okay. Is it gonna be the Dialga one? Oh, no, it's Poke Edge. Okay. Alright, I'll get the rest of these real quick. That's cool. Alright, let me show you all the cases she gave you then. Alright, so we got the Ar uh, the Arceus cell phone case, because Legends Arceus. We got Ball Guy, because of uh, Sword and Shield. We got Poke Edge, because of Brilliant Diamond and Dazzling Pearl. I think okay and then we got the Pikachu and Eevee case from let's go that's super cool oh uh, you I don't know what you're selling now this goes up the city of learning I study at the school my passion is burning okay Hey, yo, there we go. Let's see. What's on the old schedule? We got Brogzong. I also thought we'd be done exploring. Oh, Those are more shops to eat at. These also have more food. Definitely more shops to eat at. Uh, my Pokemon has real sense of sound. Even with the same species, they can have different strengths, natures, and abilities. He's not wrong. More food. Got more food. Um. Uh, the other regions only have one champion. It's really cool that Paldea has so many champion ranked trainers. Uh, look at the battle court. It takes a lot of courage to battle here since there's always quite an audience. Ayo, if you're good, you're good. Alright, there is, there's too many people here. I might just ignore all of them. This is a hair salon again. I actually know we've been there. Oh, okay, we've been there. We, so we did go up the stairs. I just don't remember us doing that at all. Time to study hard. Oh!
Okay, okay. I'm assuming this is the Team Star theme then, seeing as though... Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you'll shine just as bright as anybody. I didn't know Todoroki was in this game. That's kind of crazy. Seriously, what's wrong with you? Don't you want to burn bright with awesome friends like us? Not really. Look, we've got a quota to fill. Eh, so just sign up already. I'd rather not. Might as well. I mean, no reason not to, right? What? You want in this two punk? Okay, okay. If you're here to sign up, we'll get to you next. But we nearly got this one in the bag. We're Team Star, kid. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us. But you already knew that, right? No, I have no idea who you guys are. <laughs> Another ignorant little nobody! Dang. I'm finally part of Team Star and I still get Norris? Hey! I gotta work my way up the ranks. Hey, we can't just let something like this slide. The honor of our team's on the line. So we got no choice to battle, right? That's true. I need to keep watching that little four eyes over there. Hey, yo, just because I got glass don't mean you gotta make fun of- Oh, okay, they're gonna battle me. Yo, a double battle? Easy. She was hot. Hold on a second, she- She really- She really- Hit us with the- Oh, wrong one. Uh, there we go. Challenge my team star. Grunt. You don't even get a name. Yo, my man's got a schnoz. Look at him. He could literally do no wrong. All right. Um, Shrew will kind of be looking like a poison type. Like he look like Shrew kind of looks toxic. Like not even gonna lie. Toxic AF for real. We got Gum Gum though. Boom, baby. He already knows what to do. Hit him once, slap back twice as hard. You already know. Hit with the. Oh. Wait, is it? I, for some reason, I can't do a star. <laughs> Also, the person in the background already knows they're gonna take this L. Ugh, why is there nobody like you so good at battling? That's just not right. You know why he beat you? Does that mean I'm gonna have to battle this kid since I'm higher rank? Wait, what? What a bueno. What do you think he's doing? Oh, that's that student council dweeb. She's gonna report us if we don't book it. I can't believe you, Al. You have to battle Rantos. The only person you need to battle is me. That's... <laughs> it was just... <laughs> That's not really what happened. Wait, they picked the fight with you? Oh, I really read that the wrong way. Yes, you did. You definitely did, hello? Oh, yeah, you're the two star guys written all over you. And I bet you're trying to pressure, pressure people into signing up again, huh? Uh, no, we definitely weren't doing that. Mm. As the head of student council, stopping this kind of nonsense would normally be my job. But this is a perfect chance to try for you to try off that amazing rare gift to you. Ayo. The Terra Orb. Put the Terra Orb in your key item. Hmm, an orb that holds with it the power of cri to crystallize. When it is charged with energy, it can cause Pokemon to terrestrialize. With this Terra Orb, you can terrestrialize your Pokemon during battle. Let's see. Uh, after it terrestrializes, I'm pretty sure your Tarantula will become a bug type. Normally, you gotta take special classes to get one of these babies, but I put in a good word for you. <laughs> hey, yo, thanks, Demona. Now give it the whirl. You'll be able to learn how to use it faster than if I explain it to you. Wait, what? You want this kid to practice whirling on us with this Terra Pokemon? Is, is, is that even fair? I mean, do you want to battle me instead? Oh, never, never, never mind. I'll, I'll, I'll try taking. I'll take the L with the new kid instead. It's okay. Right at the foot at school too. These kids are about to get school. That's a sick intro though. Too bad they're lame. No, not a young goose. Wait. Oh wait. If it evolved, it was a. 
normal dark type, I think. Here in the Paldea region, Pokemon can crystallize through a th strange phenomenon that people call this terrestrializing. You can terrestrialize your Pokemon by selecting the Terrestrialize button in battle. When a Pokemon terrestrializes, its type changes to its Terra type. Moves of the same type become even stronger than usual. After terrestrializing Pokemon once, you won't be able to terrestrialize them again until you heal the Pokemon strength. Oh, okay. Alright. So, terrestrialize. So, what terrestrializing really does is... So, STAB, uh, that's called Same Type Attack Bonus. It's an acronym. It, so... My book, so Struggle Bug's 50 power. So, power. Uh, 50 power. So, it would, with STAB, it would go from 50 to 75 because, um... A STAB is 1.5 five times increase if it's the same attack. So with Terrestrialize, I'm pretty sure that goes from 1.5 to just times 2, which is, uh, so that instead of 50, it would just be 100, which is crazy. And that's only if it's the same type, I believe. I could be wrong. But even if you Terrestrialize, uh, let's say, Pikachu uh, from normal uh, from electric to flying terrestrialized type you would still get the same attack type uh, same attack the same type attack bonus um, if it was just a regular Pikachu still so uh, electric I think thundershock is still 35 so it would be like 47.5 or something you would still get the the attack boost but with Terrestrializing, you change its attack, and you get a second stab with it. That's kind of how Terrestrializing works, I believe, and uh, I could be wrong, but... And if I need to explain it again, um, just let me know in the comments, and I'll ex either explain it in the next video, or um, I'll explain it again later. Also, she's wearing heels. <laughs> Your Pokemon burns so bright. Yeah, terrestrializing was pretty bright. And Gumbum went back to normal. Nice, you pulled out terrestrializing, no problem. A move or your Pokemon's Terra type will hit even harder when it's terrestrialized. Sometimes you'll find a Pokemon whose Terra type is totally different. That difference can open up to strategic options. You gotta charge your Terra Orb at the Pokemon Center uh, after healing them. Well, I'll be on my merry way. Uh, hasta la vista! Hasta la vista! Uh, Team Star is basically a key, a group of students that like to care for trouble. They hardly show up to class, and when they get together in groups, they're really a headache. Even the teachers don't even know what to do with them. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I just... Thanks. I'll see you around. Uh, okay. Weird kid. Already becoming a big hero on Kip. I mean, I mean, you know, after nine generations of Pokemon, it's not that hard anymore. I don't think I've seen that girl around here. She may be a new transfer, just like you. That Eevee back though. Love that flow. Anyway, since the trouble's already died down, we better book at the school. Get ready for the worst staircase ever. Oh my gosh. They make it look so daunting. Oh my gosh, they have stuff underneath the staircase? That's crazy. Wait, what? You told me I can go on top of the... This seems like something you shouldn't let kids do. Okay. I guess there's nothing I can really do for right now on top of this. Mr. Jack is so... Uh, hmm. I'm gonna find a... I gotta get a new book. What's this? Uh, what's your next class? Battle studies out in the schoolyard. Oh, that's cool. Wait. Ah, I forget. Better do a bit more review. Oh, a bit better. So tough. This famous, uh... Torturiously long staircase of the, an of the academy. Not an easy climb, is it? Eh. 
Only took me a couple seconds, so, you know. Uh, mm. All sorts. Hey. I already got a side up. I don't need to talk to yours, brother. Come on. Thank you. Uh, there are a lot of uh, different Pokemon in school. Okay. Pokemon and people at school. Uh, I've already talked to you. Uh, yes, I thought the exact same thing. Gotta get that homework done. Hmm. Anyway, let's just go ahead and enter school. We can search around here later. Here we are, Al. Welcome to the Naraja Academy. This is the entrance hall. Uh, you can sign up for all kinds of classes behind me, and those halls to the side lead to different parts of the school. It's totally big enough to let loose in battle here, but for some reason, they banned Pokemon from battling in the main entrance. Ah, oh, Master Al, Mr. Moon. How do you, uh, how'd you find your first commute to school? We had a blast. I imagine Miss Nimona's High Spirits helped with that. She is a true asset to our fine academy. Uh, now that I, not, not, that I expect, not that I was expecting anything less from our champion rank student council president. Or reliable as ever, Miss Nimona. Right, I know how uh, to look. Oh, I know how to look after my friends, alright, Al? Oh, uh, we, call, we saw some of our uh, Team Star Kids. You did? Where? Uh, it was right down the stairs. They were hassling this kid with an Eevee book bag. I mean, backpack, by the way. Uh, this is quite the news. Oh, uh, they still found out there? Oh, uh, they booked it right up. <laughs> Actually, Al flexed on them they ran away. You don't say. Uh, of course, it's a fine thing to try and help your fellow student, Al. Uh, but you might wish to show a bit of restraint as you find your feet here in the academy. And Mr. Mona, do remember that the school staff here is to resolve any problems. Oh, oh, oh. I totally I suppose that might be Miss Penny. I'm relieved to hear she's come to class at least. And for Miss you, Miss Nomona, it'd be good it be if you'd be so good do to report Mr. Jack about Team Star. As your hormone teacher, he'd be kept appraised of all such going on. So you got it, sir. Uh you guys should probably go to class. Uh we're in class one A, let's go. Yo, wait, 1A? Just like My Hero Academia? Do I press the... Oh, no, it's, it's just an oddly long loading screen. Good morning, Mr. Jack. Uh, I am not... Where am I? Spot the main character? I can't even see myself. Oh, wait, I'm a transfer kid, so... Also, I know for a fact Nimona is taller than 90% of the trainers in here. So, I don't know if she's the exact same height as the NPC trainer. Uh, hello, hello everyone. Uh, we got some exciting news here, uh, this morning. Who wants to hear it? Ooh, me, I want to hear the news. I suppose I should have told you sooner, but we have a, a new little friend joining our happy homeroom as, as of today. Oh my gosh, who is it? It's gonna be a guy, it's gonna be a girl. Ooh, I hope she's hot. Oh, I, he might, he, I hope he's good at battling. Oh man. I don't know what they'll be. I was, I did all that for them. Yeah, I did all that work for them. All right, you can come on. Oh, I think we're... Could you trouble uh, introducing yourselves? Oh, yeah. Beta Male Orbiter. You hear that? He seems super friendly and fun. Uh, looks like everyone's eager to know you, Al. Uh, all right. Uh, who wants to be the asked our friend of first, uh, first, uh, our new friend of first question? What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? Oh, this is really cool. Um, I definitely like battling with Pokemon. Really awesome. Totally the same. Does everyone else have a new question? Hey. <laughs> He went through all the trouble of running, uh, enrolling here, Alex. A spill. What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? Ah, uh, you already know to be the strongest there ever was. 
Oh, you, you you will be. Oh, I just know it. You and me, we're gonna be strong. So strong battling together. She's crazy. Uh, thank you for telling us a bit about yourself. I, uh, I'm Mr. Jock. Uh, I teach biology here at the Academy, and I'm also your homeroom teacher. Uh, that's your seat in the second round right there. Alright, you ruggamuffins. Be nice and friendly to our new class. We will, Mr. Jock. What kind of mist, mist, uh, ragamuffins? Uh, get to know the Academy by exploring on your own. Oh my, oh god. Oh, we can take classes? Okay, uh... Welcome to the Academy. Oh, nice to have you, new kid. Uh, we, bet we tend to be our best behavior. Our best is still not that good. What, you wanna talk to me? Ah, uh, thanks for answering my question. Oh, of course, bro. Looking for Nimona? Hell yeah. Uh, she just got caught to the staff room. Ooh. No one on this side of the room? Okay. You can move around the school, try checking out some places. Someone might be hanging around there. Perhaps we'll discover something. Now choose a location and start exploring. Hey, yo. The kind ladies working in the cafeteria make delicious, nutritious, fair, uh, everyday food. And, I'm sorry, eh, I really don't care about Arvin. You, you already know we gotta go to the staff room. Gotta find the Mona. Okay, this is just a long, uh, long. Oriolu, oh, that's the little blue guy in the, in the right that you can't see because my big head's blocking the way. Uh, very well, Champion Nomona. I trust you to handle this in my stead. Ah, uh, you can count on me, and bet I bet it's gonna be really fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day, then. Oh, pardon me. I, I mean, it's not like I was in your way and you weren't mine. Oh, hey, Al. Who is that? Uh, the suit. Who is that? She looked awesome. Good eye. She sure is. That lady, well, they call her La Primera. She's strong. She can do pretty much anything. She's got cool practicality coming out of her ears. Oh, practically coming out of her ears, not practicality. <laughs> She's basically everything I want to be. Uh, everything I want to be. Or that any trainer should really want to be, really. Oh, reminds me. Uh, remember, homie, when I asked you what your dream is? Well, since your heart's already set on becoming a strong trainer, I got an idea for you. You should try and reach champion, right? Just like me. Ah, uh, definitely will try. Oh wow, hang on though, uh, I gotta I gotta give you a whole spiel. Here it goes. The trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who can raise their Pokemon really strong. They're the pro tier battlers. Their moves keep crowds absolutely on edge in their seats. You have to prove yourself with the po uh, to the Pokemon League to officially get the title champion. And to do that, you have to take more than just classes around here. You gotta get the eight gym uh, eight. Now you gotta take on eight Pokemon gyms so you can collect their gym badges. Once you do all that, all that's left to do is take on the special champion assessment test. And once you pass that, then at long last, you'll be a Pokemon champion. It's every trainer's dream! The coolest title anyone could hope for. N not to brag or anything. I reached champion training during our last treasure hunt, you know. Oh, the treasure hunt is a special independent study we got here. Should happen soon. Uh, our last one started not long after the school year being. It's great! You get to leave school and have an adventure and learn however you want. I guess you could say my journey becoming a champion was the treasure I found? Maybe? I don't know if that's the right answer I'm looking for. <sighs> anyway, I got a feeling I'll be able to get even stronger if you and I were working together at it. Let me go ahead and save the gym's locations in your map, just, to, uh, just in case you decide to go for it. Crazy. Um. Okay, let's see. Grass, electric, ice, ghost, normal. Turn a lot. We actually had like three normal type gyms. Uh, Cortando. Alifornada. <laughs> Victory Road. Give it some thought. 
What was all that about? Anyway, there's a little, there's a little real little duck. Um, a lot of teachers here are real colorful characters. I, uh, I need to try and stand out harder. Uh, I think I put that next. Hmm. Where do you want to go? Uh, I guess I'm going back to the cafeteria. I'm going to the cafeteria. You gotta talk to Arvin eventually, right? Alright, everyone's eating seconds. Hmm. Oh, hey, so we meet again. You remember me, right? <laughs> oh, that's exactly. That's my little know it all buddy. You got a mind like a steel trap, huh? No need to tell me your name, though. Ow, right? The whole school seems to be talking about you already. New kid showed up with the student council president. I normally wouldn't bother showing up to class, but I came all the way to school today just to talk to you, our new celebrity. You gotta help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. Uh, what's this dream first? <laughs> Caught your interest, have I? You wanna hear all about my dream, right? Well, this might be a surprise, but... Uh, fact is, I'm all about that picnic life. <laughs> the picnic grind set. The great outdoors. The perfectly, uh, prepared sandwiches. All of it. Not half bad cooking either, I can tell you. And right now I'm researching new recipes that'll help Pokemon feel better. Real health food, see? I found this book on the the other day, and it had all these sections about making the herbal mystia mystica things. What? Uh there's these special kind of herbs that heal up any Pokemon soon after eating them. And then there's five types of herbal mystica, based on what I read. Just taking a look at all one of them, uh, them once, they've been powdered, will get your blood flowing, provide nutrients, and prevent aging. It'll even boost the immune system. These herbs seem to be like they're the real deal. You only only found in Paldea and rare to boot. And but this book, they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon, meaning it's gonna be pretty tough to try and grab even even a few sprigs. Cause uh Oh, Titans are, oh, you know, they've got to be things like this. That's a, that's a Dawn fan. That thing is massive. Uh, monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we begin to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. Though, we are... Though we wondered if these huge ferocious beasts were indeed Pokemon at all, one of them suffered a uh, one of our teams suffered a brutal blow from a, such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat. Oh my gosh! These Pokemon are out for blood. A member of the surveillance of uh, the survey team captured this photo by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan. Yes, differences such in its sheer size and. The shape of its back set it apart, as do its great tusks. I really want to get those hairs for myself, but I'm not really that good at Pokemon battles. And I don't have any strength. I don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to help either. And I'd never hear the end of it if I came crawling to that student council girl. <laughs> but here you waltz up. You gotta, you gotta help me out. You'd be perfect. I uh, got no reason not to. No, wait! I don't need an answer just yet. I'll register the plan, uh, the places where you might be able to see the Titans uh, on your map. Oh, uh, he's got a Floette smartphone. That's cool. The False Dragon Titan, the Quaking Earth Titan, Open Sky Titan, Lurking Steel Titan, and the Stony Cliff Titan. The Path of Legends. That's crazy. Well, let it stew a bit, and we get more details in. In the meantime, take this. A little gift for listening, I guess. Go back a Stardust, you can sell that for like $3,000. It's pretty good. 
Give me that DS series stop, please! What a weird guy. Uh, really nothing you can do. Well, Rototototo, Rototototo, ring, 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 phone call, phone call. This is Al, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. Uh, who, I'm, who, who? My name's Cassiopeia, but never mind that. We're going we're not, we're not, we're also not here to talk about League of Legends. I hear you're a Pokemon trainer, uh, you're a trainer with serious potential. If that description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me, Al, you know about Team Star, right? I know nothing about them, but I do know of them. Great, I appreciate you being up front here. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to the level. And I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. That's a really good operation. But I'll need allies to carry out this plan. And I'd like you to be one of them. I, I guess. No need to reply in a second, even though we give you yes or no options. We can discuss the details some other time. Till then, I'll leave it to you. Bye. What the hell? <laughs> and the professor immediately walks up. Oh, Master Al. Please do try to keep your voice down while making phone calls in school. Ah, oh, you don't want anyone overhearing personal information after all. Honestly, there's so many things we need to be careful about in this day of age. Yeah, on you go then, young man. Why is he always where I'm at? Team Star, you say? Ooh, he heard. This, this has been so much story. Uh, ding, uh, ding, dong, dong, ding. A murder has been. I mean, <clears throat> calling Master out to the director's office. Once again, Master out to the director's office. No one's gonna get that reference except for me. Uh, is this a map of the school? Okay, the director's office. Can I take a class? Hey, yo, um. Biology, I guess. Mr. Jock is pretty cool. Class will become sweet. Okay, we'll see what this class is, and it'll probably end up the episode, actually. These classes seem pretty sick. Ah, hello, hello. My name is Jock, and I'll be your biology teacher. We'll all learn the various quirks of our beloved Pokemon together. Hope you all come to Pokemon. I uh, love Pokemon even more after the things you learn here. Today's class, uh, teach you a great way to get you know, uh, get to know your Pokemon. If you like to become better friends with your Pokemon, you let them come out their Pokemon walking around beside you. Sounds great, huh? You press the ZR button and throw it all. Uh, nothing cuter than watching your Pokemon ru uh, run underfoot if you ask me. Once you let Pokemon out, try speaking to them and they'll respond in certain ways. It's a great way to get to know them better. Um, letting your Pokemon out of its Pokeball isn't great in all locations. Uh, can someone tell me where it is that you shouldn't have your Pokemon alcohol on the side of you? Pokemon love tall grass. Correct answer is indoors. How about that? So Pokemon might damage walls, desks, and other things by just walking? Therefore, only let your Pokemon outside. Uh, only let your Pokemon outside the Pokeballs uh, outside. I think I see them out about in class from time to time, but still, uh, walk together with Pokemon to become helpful. You can only walk with your leading Pokemon. Throw the Pokeball. Okay, that wasn't really that interesting. Uh, unless we get something from it. Math will miss time? Yeah, sure, I guess. 
Jock seems pretty cool though. He was in that like five minute long video with Gimme Ghoul. Uh, my name is Time. I'll be your math teacher. Yes, I do. It's Nimona. I didn't know we had the same math class. Uh, some of you like numbers, some of you may not. It's a wonderful mix. You find yourselves enjoying our lessons. Uh, speaking of which, are y'all covered for your types of Pokemon? Grass's effect is super effective against water. Water is effective against fire. Uh, you seem to be good with Pokemon, Al. Let me ask you this. Uh, bearing in mind that water is strong against fire, if the move Water Gun hits a fire type, what becomes that move's damage? Double. That's right, I knew I could count on you for this answer. Using Pokemon, uh, using types of moves that your opponent is weak to is a super effective tactic. It multiplies the damage by two. On the other hand, if you use that move against it's not very effective, it's going to be 0.5 times instead. I don't mean to encroach on Mrs. Uh, Miss Dendrous Battle Studies, of course, but I thought it'd be something I could use to liven up the room. Uh, that can make math even... Uh, fun for those who don't even like the subject, don't you think? Oh, we're done. I'll be looking forward to all of you. We'll see the battle studies one, and then I guess we'll end up the video. <sighs> um, yeah, battle studies. Like battle studies with Miss Dendra? Of course. Okay, I accidentally pressed the escape so I didn't want anything to mess up. Yeah. Oh! Hey, yo! Oh, so okay. She's a... She's a sumo wrestler. Say hello to your battle instructor, the one and the only! The high-blooded Dentro! Osu is a karate thing, by the way. Look it up! My age, 25! My hobby working out. My type? Well, we're all too young for you. Oh, oh, uh, <clears throat> the, the fighting type, of course. That's all for my introduction. Yo, she's got a Riolu. Is she gonna have a Riolu to her team? Yo, I got Gum Gum out. That's cool. I didn't, I wasn't gonna ever notice that, actually. Who's that little dog to the right? Uh, who poked you? Anyway. That's all for my instruction, and as for my class, this is where we get to learn the nitty gritty of Pokemon. We'll start the basic off so no trainers even gets left in the dust. Even if you're new, no need to fear. Leave it to me and my muscles, and you'll be a pro in no time. Let our fighting spirits ablaze together! What? Oh, I don't need to talk like Mike Guy. Or do I? No, well, ah, whatever. Pokemon have all kinds of attack moves at their disposal. And each move has certain qualities you'll want to remember. I'm talking about the power, the type, and the category of these moves. Higher power means more damage, especially if your opponent is weak to that move. Heads up, a new Katie question coming your way. There are two categories of attack moves. You know what they are? Moves of light and moves of darkness. <laughs> moves you love and moves you hate. It, it's physical and special. <laughs> Awesome, you're just as sharp as I expected, new kid. Looks like you have a handle on the basics. Anyway, attack moves are split into two categories, physical and special. Physical moves do higher the uh, do more damage the higher the Pokemon's attack stat is. And special moves do the exact same thing if they're special. On the other hand, move uh on the other hand, Pokemon getting hit by these moves take less damage by having higher physical defense or special defense. <laughs> In conclusion, Pokemon are good at physical attack. Uh, physical moves should raise their attack stat, and Pokemon with special moves should raise their special attack stat. Trying to raise both of these stats equally will just make it hard for the Pokemon to shine in battle. Make sure your Pokemon. Now make sure you work on your strong points. I always say that goes for both Pokemon and poop people. 
Oh man, I was about to suggest we do some hands-on practice to really drive the point home. But I guess we're out of time. We'll generally meet here for my class in the schoolyard, even for book learning. Nothing like a little bit of fresh air to make it more fun, am I right? Class is over. Take care, you little rascals. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we took uh, each... I mean... So we... If we finally got to school, we learned who Team Star was. Uh, we learned that Cassiopeia from League of Legends is just as toxic as she is in League of Legends. She really doesn't like Team Star. Um, we know... We've seen the champion. Or would, would she be the champion? Well, I guess she'd have to be a champion rank trainer at the very least. Seeing as though, especially since Nimona has so much respect for her. And... Um... Oh yeah, Arvin. Gonna help. I guess we're gonna help him. We're gonna see what all these titans are. Cause even if we don't want to help him, we, these titans, pretty cool. Oh. Uh, yeah. I, I guess that's kind of it. And I guess we're gonna see what the professor, uh, what Principal Clavel wants. So, like always, if you guys like the video hitting the thumbs up would be great and subscribing would be even greater since i'm gonna be making more of this content and if you guys want to leave any suggestions for names for the pokemon what pokemon i should use just let me know in the comment section below because those are good for you know that's good for the algorithm help your boy out and like always, I'll see ya when I see ya.